Hi everyone, Mark and Kathleen here. We are going to be making um, tuna melt with egg today. Enjoy. So we're gonna use star kissed wild caught albacore white tuna in water. And it's for two, so that's perfect. Nice. Looks just like the dog food that we give mm. to our dogs. Yes, perfect. Smells just like the dog food as well. <laughs> All right, so I am going to use some green onion. I love this stuff. I green get, onions. I can't get enough of this. It's just. Are they supposed to be black? They just look black on camera. Oh. I think they're fine. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the ends. I kind of like to do that. Um, I'm just going to chop all of this up. I don't know if we'll use all of it, but we could put it on our potatoes. And you know what? I don't know about you, but I love the taste of this onion at the end. So we're putting that in there too. We're going all you out. Cut the whole thing up? Oh yeah, baby. So that thing at the end, is that an actual onion, just smaller? Yeah, it's... It tastes more like an onion? It tastes the green more like part? an onion, and it's... I find it delicious. It's so good. It's okay. a mini onion. Yes. Well, since this is going in a mix, I'll chop it up all small. If you feel like having a tuna melt, make it at home. I know you want to go around the corner and get it from someone else, but just just do it. It's easy. All right. I wonder if cilantro would be good. Let's try it. Let's do it. All right, some cilantro. We love this. I think it'll be good. I've never added it in a tuna melt, but I think it's going to be delicious can't hurt. Here we go. We're going to add some real mayo as opposed to fake mayo. That's all getting cut out. Do we want a little bit of mustard or do we want to just taste the mayo? Let's throw some mustard in there too. Okay. I'm going to add some kosher salt, just a little bit. And some uh, great value table grind black pepper. seasoned. Yes. We don't have enough bread to do two sandwiches. We only have three slices. So we're going to do something else. We are using grass-fed butter. Kirkland. Kirkland style. This is where we will make the eggs. the worst utensil to flip it, <laughs> but it works for now. We work with what we've got. Yes. Toasted bread. Egg number two. Okay, I'm going to use some seasoned salt. Lowry's. Lowry's. Just a little bit. And some pepper. That's beautiful. Yes. The bread has been toasted. Now I'm going to put a little bit of butter on it. The bread will be buttered. Looking 
good. Egg number three. Third piece of toast. Buttered. So here we go. Spread it out. Spread it out. The egg. Oh, yeah. It has come together. All right, now the time to eat the food, to taste it. The moment of truth has come. And you are here to witness, to bear witness to the egg and tuna sandwich. Yes. Thank you, Kathleen, for making this. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That's a good taste. That's delicious. I like that there's only one level of bread, too. Mm -hmm. I think that worked out good. Mm-hmm. Which, mm -hmm. we didn't have a choice, because we only have three pieces of bread. Mm. What do you think? I love it. I think it's so good, and I love that we added the cilantro. That gives it a yeah extra touch. It's really good. Mm. We saw our tree up. We didn't record this video at Christmas time. Yeah. We recorded it today, January fourth, right? Today's the fourth. Oh yeah, show them your vintage tea. Okay, let me get a napkin. I'm wearing a vintage t-shirt um, from Wasco High and what's extra special is that it says here Mark because it has this my was name. his and we found it the other day when we were trying to go through our boxes and things that are keepsakes. Mm. <laughs> So you know it's good. <laughs> and um, if it doesn't go all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Carl's Jr.? Mm hmm. But yeah, I saw this and I got so excited. And we washed it. It's like new and I love it. I've been wearing it for weeks now. Just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we're going to finish this food here. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Food at Home. Until next time, be well, take care of yourself, know yourself, and love yourself. Thank you for hanging out with us in time and space. Goodbye. <laughs>